<laughs> now, if you see the this is a hearing and you room. listen to what they say, you'll find this that is a hearing room. Yeah. So in the facility here, we don't allow the recording. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. So there's no recording in here. There isn't. No. Uh, no one's told me that. Let me go and get my supervisor. Okay. Now, if you see the, and you listen yeah. to what they say, you'll find that at no time I was told to stop what? filming. I Okay, can you show me the law? Uh, I can't, I just unfortunately they're saying that there's, they're not up to do any recording this office. Okay, well I just seen a sign out there that said I can. Oh, uh, where at? On the DHS memo that's hanging out there. Unless there's a court order or, or a law that says you can't do it. Photography and news. And it says rules or directives by federal court. Rules prohibited. So he's government supervisor. Okay. But according to that, I can film in there, just like post offices. <laughs> the only thing I'm not allowed to do is do people's personal information. Well, huh? <laughs> How are you doing? Audio and video recording. Yeah. Hey, I'm the manager here. Right. I'm going to have to ask you to pre stop recording. Is there a federal law that says I can't record, or is it just a federal rule? <laughs> because, see, <clears throat> I understand what, that's, what that says, but there's a sign out there that says that I can videotape all foyers, areas in. Uh, Let's go take a look at it. Okay. Right here. Photographs for news, advertising, commercial purposes. Okay, so building entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums. So that's this space. That's mm -hmm. not our reception area. Well, that's a lobby area. That's our reception area. It's also a lobby. We have members of the public. Yeah. And and that's why we can have this area, but not that area. Well, the, the, according to this, I can do that area too. I, I disagree with your interpretation. You do. And so either we can cut the recording or I'm going to ask you to leave and I'll talk to the judge and ask to postpone your hearing. Okay. Um, 
So if I don't leave, then I'm going to be punished by postponing my hearing. I, you can stay and stop recording in our reception area. Mm -hmm. Or if you disagree with that, then we're going to have to postpone your hearing today. Well, I disagree with it because of the law, because the law right here. <laughs> I'm sorry. It says, um, where is that? So I'm also, sir, also right here. This is a whole matter section for the Social Security itself. Yeah, that's that that's that's a government rule. That's not a federal law. This is a federal law right here. Yeah. So is this code of federal regulations? So. What what would you like to do? Either cease recording or we can postpone your hearing. Well, this says here I can request for permission to video record. Denied. So what you also have to request it by emailing it to that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I was looking at this right here where it talks about all the foyers and stuff like that. Space occupied by the tenant. Okay, space is occupied by the tenant, agency, commercial purposes. Building entrance, lobbies, and that's a lobby. Foyer. Corridors. So, but, so you're saying that that's not a lobby. I'm saying you cannot record in that area. Okay, but in the hallway I can. Because Social Security doesn't own the hallway. So I can stand out here and film. What do you want to do today? I'm going to film. You can't film in here. Why? We've already, sir, we've already gone over this. Oh, that looks like a lobby to me. People sit and wait for their hearings and stuff right there. I can't have you record in here. I've explained that to you. Mm -hmm. So would you like to stop recording or would you like to postpone your hearing today? I'm just sitting here recording. I mean, I'm not, uh, I mean, if, if you want to punish me for my recording, you can. So I'm actually outside their office area.
question. Are you sure I'm right? Uh, what was the reason for recording, sir? What was the reason? Because I want to record. I want to do, be able to show people what the lobby and stuff looks like in here. Are you guys so afraid of what the public might see? Like there's corruption or something in here? You calling Homeland Security? I uh, had to contact um, my mega center and they're sending somebody to come talk. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I got Homeland Security over there. I'm gonna chase his ass into the building. Hey, are you here for me? Sir! Why don't we do it on the sidewalk instead of in the street? <laughs> I know. I just didn't want to talk to you while cars were going by. Well, I get that. <laughs> so here's the deal, man. You can't be filming in there. Okay. And you know it. Well, I no, know. I, I checked the rule and it said for security reasons. If there's security reasons. So have you seen case law, U.S. versus Cordova? No. I would highly recommend you look into that. Okay. So is that a summons? It's just going to be a citation. What's that? Like a ticket? It's basically like a parking ticket. It's a federal... It's a, so, where you'll be charged today is failure to conform with signage and directions. Mm -hmm. Post, so the CFR in there, that's actually federal law. I don't know if you know that. Mm -hmm. But violating that is an actual violation of federal law. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I know the PSO in there, he told you no. He told you you can't be filming in there, right? He yeah. You notice, right? Yeah, he said that. Okay. But I also showed him on the on that rules thing out there where, where it said you can. Again, I'd highly recommend you look into uh, U.S. versus Cordova. That's going to kind of tell you what the difference between a tenant controlled space is and a lobby okay I'm out with that how things been mr. West been been all right just all right Yep. Where are you living these days, Mr. West? Same place.
So is U.S. versus Cordova, is that a, a Supreme Court ruling? or? Sure is. Okay. I thought it was, like, pretty big in the auditor community. It was kind of like a... Well, I filmed the police. I don't usually do audits. I've been doing audits lately because my Highlander was stolen. Your Highlander was stolen? Yeah. Maybe you step away from my... Okay. I appreciate that. <laughs> driver's license number man come on you know i you know i'm gonna be already um already know what it is you already know what it is i don't know what it is off the top of my head but you know i can pull it right i know you can i appreciate that mr west mm -hmm. <clears throat> So this is like a ticket? It's basically a ticket. Okay. So it's not a misdemeanor or a felony? It is considered a Class C misdemeanor. A Class C misdemeanor? Yes, sir. All right. I thought you said it was like a parking ticket. I mean, that's pretty much <laughs> it, yeah, honestly. Parking ticket's not a misdemeanor. It's an infraction. Oh, fair enough. I don't do, I don't do parking tickets, so. <laughs> you mean if I parked in front of the federal courthouse, you wouldn't come out and give me a ticket? <laughs> no, I, I promise you, I would. That's not my deal. Uh -huh. Here's this back for you, man. All right. So let me ask you this: If I would have left, would you would have you followed me around and cited me, or would, what, how would that work? Uh, honestly, probably just mail you the citation. Really? Yeah. So when's my court date? I'll explain to you in a second. Okay. I'll give you the whole rundown, I promise you. Uh huh. Right? Yeah. Sweet. All right. Actually, I'll give you my pen here. I have signed the bottom, signed admission of Gills, just saying that um, I'm getting you a citation. Okay. I'd hold on to my ticket book. All right. Appreciate it. All righty. Here's how this works. Wait a second. Did you lose your video? Yeah. You're right? Yeah. It's yellow. going to have all the information on the these like two old pages right here. Uh huh. So what you're being charged with today is failure to perform signs and directions. You can't film in there, right? There's both signs and directions. You were given direction, right? Mm -hmm. So. $30 fine, plus a $30 processing fee, total collateral due is $60. If you want to pay it outright, you can do so online or I believe by mail. 
Um, mm -hmm. If you want to take it to court, in about six weeks or so, you'll receive a summons at this address. If you don't, there's a phone number you can call. They'll give you your court date. You can go and plead your case in court. Mm -hmm. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Here's your citation. All right. All righty. Anything else? Any other questions? That's it. All righty. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the other homeland security he went around the block and went and hid over there Looks like he left. You right? Yeah, he's yellow. going to have all the information on the these like two old pages right here. Uh huh. So what you're being charged with today is failure to perform signs and directions. You can't film in there, right? There's both signs and directions. You were given direction, right? Mm -hmm. So thirty dollar fine plus a thirty dollar processing fee. Total collateral due is sixty dollars. If you want to pay it outright, you can do so online or I believe by mail. Um, mm -hmm. If you want to take it to court, in about six weeks or so, you'll receive a summons at this address. If you don't, there's a phone number you can call. They'll give you your court date. You can go and plead your case in court. Mm -hmm. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Here's your citation. All right. All righty. Anything else? Any other questions? That's it. All righty. <laughs> How are you doing today? Yeah. You're going to serve you four citations. Just for conduct on the, the 26th. Take photos I'm giving these to you. Okay. A lot of boom right there. Can I ask what these are for? Failure to obey lawful directives, three counts. For one for disobeying the, the social security manager, one for the PSO, and one for the employee in the back office. Who's... Fourth one is going to be photography in a, like a violation of security notice or the security regulation. Uh-huh. They're all mandatory appearances. Same thing as I mentioned to like the last time I gave this citation for uh, ability to comply with signage and directions. Same exact process. Okay, so they're all mandatory? They're all mandatory appearances. They're Class C misdemeanors. Okay. That's it. All right.